Jennifer, on the precipice of great change. Our Lord to Jennifer on April 7th, 2023. My child, who can I speak to? Who will listen to my voice, my words, when I'm crying out? I have pleaded with my children, and yet so many are far away that they do not recognize my voice that is intricately weaved into the soul of mankind. I come to you in love. I come to you in warning that you must have greater vigilance at what is happening all around you. I tell my children it is time to seek that guidance of the Holy Spirit so that you are able to discern all that comes in your path. My children, history is all around you while you are also living out revelation. Take heed, take heed to the gospel message and live it. I have come to nurture and teach you as I am calling all of you to be counted amongst the saints in heaven by living your life in witness and example. I tell my children that it is a time of reform. Come to the fountain of my mercy and do not shackle yourself to your past errors. Rather, embrace my love, unite your suffering to mine and be my witness in this broken world. It is through your love, forgiveness, and obtaining the graces of heaven that will begin to heal this world. Recognize evil for what it is and do not take hold of it by complying out of fear. Do not allow the enemy to elevate himself through you. Rather, in greater humility, you will defeat all of his deception. Go forth in prayer. Go forth in adoration of your heavenly Father, who through his Son Jesus gave you this life, this mission to one day be united with the Trinity for all eternity. Now go forth, for I am Jesus, and my mercy and justice will prevail. On April 7th, 2023, my child, the great hour is approaching when many will be caught off guard. My wounds are bleeding profusely, and my only consolation is the prayers and acts of suffering my faithful offer to me. The war that has been waged upon my little ones has become a plague upon the innocent. I can no longer hold back my father's just hand. I can no longer restrain the justice of my father upon his people who refuse the mercy of his son, for I am Jesus." This earth is going to begin to rock and tremble. On the day of the earthquake that will begin to ripple all across the world, many will come to see that their ways were not pleasing to me. Satan has infiltrated every home, every family and every church. He and his companions have infiltrated every nation and many hearts that no longer recognize the truth. He has infiltrated the minds of my children, by using fear in order to bring false comfort, false hope, and false peace. The hour has come when those who have become the minions of his work will find themselves amongst those who have chosen the same path of darkness for all eternity. My children, each and every soul is created in my image and likeness. I am the bread of life, the prince of peace, the saviour of the world, and I am man, for I am Jesus. What my Father ordained from the beginning will be in the end. When you deny what you were created as, you deny your heavenly Father. The enemy seeks to destroy the woman because of her humility and obedience. The enemy seeks to destroy man because of his righteousness in the truth. My children, this world you have come to know is passing away. My mother has been coming for some time to plead with her children to turn away from this world, to seek out her son, to accept my mercy so that you can come home to your father. It is time, my children, to answer the call of your mother. She has been sent to light the way in bringing her children back to her son. Come to me in prayer. Come to me in adoration. Come to me in humility, for I have a place prepared for you that this world can never suffice. Now go forth, my children, and be at peace, for my mercy and justice will prevail. On February 22nd, 2023, 
My child, I cry out to my children to arise from your slumber. I call each one by name and tell you that the hour is at hand. Prepare, prepare, prepare for the day is coming when humanity will look around and ask, where is my brother? Where is my sister? Many are not prepared for the disruptions that are soon to come all around this world. Nation upon nation will feel the earth begin to tremble and many will fail to see that this warning is from heaven. Do not listen to those who speak of science for I am the creator of all the living. Just as I commanded Lazarus to awaken, I will command the world on the day of warning that his ways are not pleasing to me. I tell my chosen sons, my priests, to prepare, for your flock will come running. Do not wait for this hour. Rather, open the doors to the confessional. Do not seal off the doors to my church because you are giving way for Satan to take hold of my children. The days of darkness are no longer in the distance, for communication is soon to be extinguished. Do not surrender in fear, but rather act in humility and with great discernment, because the enemy is lurking at every corner. My children, allow my mother to take you under her mantle, for I am Jesus and my mercy and justice will prevail. On February the 6th, 2023. My child, my children are unprepared for a greater unravelling that is about to come. Many speak of war, yet it is the war that has taken over the hearts of men who have no conscience of the sanctity of life. It is time to arise from your slumber my children and understand that the devil and his many companions seek your soul. Too many are complacent in silence to the evil that is going on all around them. Too many are not protecting the most innocent and place my little ones in the hands of the very enemy that seeks to destroy their soul. What side of the river will you be on when the earthquake comes and the river rises and washes away its banks? Who will you call out to when darkness comes upon the earth and land that has been planted and will yield no harvest because it is barren? Where will you run to when fire falls from the sky? My children, you must begin to pray for greater discernment, for too many have taken up company with the devil and do not realise the darkness that is lingering around them. Mankind is provoking the just hand of my father. I ask my children to read my words of warning and realise what I have warned for quite some time is now upon your doorstep. Sin divides, but prayer and love multiply a bountiful harvest. My children, the world is on the precipice of great change. Never surrender to the enemy who seeks to strip you of your free will, to silence your voice that was created to proclaim the gospel message. It is time to use your voice and no longer reason in fear, for fear does not come from me, for I am Jesus. Time is short, for the world is on the precipice of great change. This world as you know it is passing away, and those who have not learned from history are soon to be standing in the midst of it. Take heed to the gospel message and live it, Teach your brothers and sisters in humility how to pray. Come to the fountain of my mercy and do not have prideful hearts. I come to you in love and warning that prayer is the only vessel that will deter war. Prayer is the only vessel in which peace will come upon the world. For I am the Prince of Peace. For I am Jesus and my mercy and justice will prevail.